previously on The Devil on G-String. Yo, you're coming back to school already? True, but are you sure you're okay? Emotionally? Tsubaki looks steady as always. I could still tell, though, that her stability was a forced facade. Has the kidnapper contacted you? I asked her softly. Is that so? I hope Hiroki Kunzo is still okay. So the ransom the kidnapper took isn't worth 50 million anymore. In other words, Sabaki's family has already been forced into the pit of despair. They won't be able to return the 50 million even if they get the shares back. Fuck me. Selling shares when the stock's all but tanked is practically impossible, so there's already no way the Miwa family could obtain 50 million yen in cash. But... why? お前の学園に警察の捜査が入ります。お前の話を聞けば、妄想に取り憑かれるほど、宇佐美と魔王の間には因縁があるということになるな。uh, no, well, Usami did say once that they were connected somehow. I keep receipts too, so I guess that also makes me a housewife? What? Don't tell me you're suspecting me again. I laughed as I tested the waters. <laughs> and to tell the truth, I have a black coat, too. Usami didn't laugh. Yeah, why do I have to be the one with idle enough hands to do something like that?犯人の動機は未だ謎が残っていますそういった意味で行き詰まっていますね私はお前は私に身代金を渡すと約束しただが一方で裏切っていたそういう人間に報いを与えるべきだと私が思っても何ら不思議はないだろうすすみませんでした
Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Devil on G-String. So, the devil himself seems to uh, be playing mind games with Sabaki and Sewing Division. But what I want to know is, once things come to a head, because I am pretty positive that they're going to, will the, will the damage be reversible? Or is this all going to end up in tragedy no matter what, no matter what I end up trying to do along the way? That, to me, is the million-dollar question right now. Obviously, I'm going to try to shoot. I'm going to try to see if I can uh, avert uh, avert a bad a bad ending for everybody. But well, I'm not feeling too optimistic right now, given what's currently going on. I mean, no matter what, Sabaki's family's fucked. So. The best I can hope for at this point is just a bittersweet ending for Sabaki and her family. I woke up in the morning, had a cup of milk, and read the papers. Chocolate or plain? Please initiate a thorough investigation of the Jiugya Sakai School. Saki School. I understood the moment I saw the headlines. Someone was, was suspected of accepting bribes. Apparently there were some under-the-table deals between the school's director and the contractors working on the school expansion project. So that's why the stock's going to plummet. Shiratori. That girl's family may be facing a crisis. Oh well. It has nothing to do with me. You sure like using that phrase a lot, don't you? It has nothing to do with me. Chosuke, today's news, you saw it? Eh, yeah, pretty big, huh? Exactly. Masaka, no, do you get engaged? Oh, is that what you were talking about? In retrospect, Eiichi would never bother to read an article about Shiratori construction. Regardless of the school's financial situation, our daily lives will go on unaffected. Ohayou. Good morning, Sabaki. Sabaki didn't look very well as she greeted me. She's obviously hiding something. You don't have to force yourself to come to school. You really are strong, Sabaki. Sabaki shook her head. I sincerely doubt that. Don't say that when you know jack shit about what she feels. Color returned to Sabaki's face as we continued our banter. On our way back to the classroom, Sabaki and I ran into Shiratori. Hey. Shiratori didn't even look at me. There seems to be quite a fiasco. I read the news. Shiratori crossed her arms when I brought up the subject. You know, I can't help but wonder. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm willing to bet here that Ma, Ma, that Mao also has had a hand here in fucking over, fucking up with uh, Shiratori and her family life as well, uh, or at the very least, the company. What I want to know is how much how much damage did he do to Shiratori here in particular that we don't know about yet. It looks like Sabaki doesn't know about this. She spoke as if it didn't concern her. 
。みんなの毎日には影響ないから安心して。ああ。それじゃ。Mizuha walked toward the classroom. Mate! <laughs> Sabaki suddenly grabbed Mizuha's arms. Go, go, man, it's not a. None of them. Oh, not to knock. Don't just stick a little. Go, man, none day you funny, go, cock it, take a walk around like it all. So, I got to. Sabaki's grip loosened, and Shiratori entered the classroom. Azaiku, Kwashi Jijo, still no? More than I'm willing to tell you. Or rather, Kiyosuke is. Her eyes turned to me in search of help. To put it simply, Shiratori's father was giving pre preferential treatments to a particular contractor during the bidding for the school expansion project. So, is that a true thing? Well, if that's what the papers say, then it must be true. I really wouldn't put that much stock in what the papers say in general, but I won't go there right now. Sabaki's face was enveloped by quiet darkness. Also, the sheer Tori construction shares your family, brought, your family bought dropped a lot in value. In other words, the shares the kidnapper took are worth practically nothing. I was trying to imply that this was really bad news for Sabaki's family. Even if they got the shares back, the 50 million yen would never return. Nevertheless, Sabaki was only worrying about Shiratori. Shiratori さん、お父さんのこと信じてるのかな Huh? 家族が大変な目にあって、なんかかわいそうだなって。You're one to talk. As far as I can tell, you're in a much worse situation. それはそれだよ I just don't understand how you still find time to worry about others. 余裕なんてないよ。ただ、白鳥さん、寂しそうだなと思ったの。That's exactly what I'm talking about. We entered the classroom. Lunch break rolled around. I went to the rooftop and called Miki chan. Azai san, just to talk to you. Good morning to you, Usami. So, what do you want to tell him? I was stopped when I was just about to go buy myself some bread. About Hiroki? Motiro. You found something. Usami had stayed at Tsubaki's house after we parted ways. Just to talk to you about the two of us. Shortly thereafter, Kanan and Aichi also arrived at the rooftop. I understand. How's the classroom? Eh. So, did you find any clues? Tegakari to you hodo de marimasenga. What did you find then? Shashin desu. Photograph? Hanin kara okurare te kita shashin desu. Alright. The one sent back with the hair. I had only paid attention to the hair at the time. What, what was it a picture of? Well, I guess it'd be a picture of Hiroki. Usami nodded. You found hints in the photo. Usami shook her head after a slight hesitation. どうもどこかの廃屋ではないかと思っています。Give me the details. I haven't seen the picture. まず、写真はかなり鮮明なものでした。ひろあきくんの顔がアップで写されていました。What was his facial expression? 寝ていました。So he was lying on the floor or something? おっしゃる通りです。What time of day was it? 夜か。もしくは窓のない室内でしょう。So、the place is being kept is very dark then. フラッシュを焚いて撮られた写真でしたね。床に寝かされたヒロアキ君の周りには
小石やガラス片が散乱していましたさらに顔のそばに倒れた書棚のようなものが見えましたシェルフはい書類のようなものが散乱していましたそうなのひるクラスファイルズダーディーンアンタイディ薄汚れたというよりもろ廃墟という印象でしたね We're talking about documents though, so you're sure it's not just an abandoned office building somewhere? Usami stopped for a moment. さらに私が廃墟だと考える理由は、ヒロアキ君の顔です。His face. 顔のあちこちに虫刺されの跡があったんですよ。Oh, that poor kid. I see. 椿のお父さんに聞いたんですが、誘拐された日まで、ヒロアキ君の顔に腫れ物なんてなかったそうです。Oh, はい、あちこち刺されてましたよ。Well, I guess it would make sense, sense then. I mean, an abandoned house would probably make for an ideal location for mosquitoes to stay in during winter. Hide from the cold and all that. The only possible explanation for this abnormal mosquito population is that it's being kept in a remote, abandoned area. Not bad. It's a step in the right direction, at least. Right. Everything can be easily seen by neighbors if the place wasn't in a residential area. The kidnapper would try to avoid situations where he'd be spied by local grandmas while dealing with the hostage. Okay, so、uh, whip up a map and let's look at the outskirts around the city for,、uh, for anything that, look, that looks like it could, it could hold such houses. Oh, I know what you want to say. I sighed. So, now what? Are you inviting me on some Hardy Boys adventure to explore some ruins with you? She appears to have found what I said to be quite lame. I will bring my knives. Give me a break. Are you serious? Do you have any idea how many places that fit, fit that description in this city alone? Well, I don't know exactly, but sure, there should be at least 50. This isn't something to ho ho over. If we couldn't find them, even if we allot, even if we allot a month, then. I couldn't continue. Eh, Hanninga, Ikaget's more hitojo ikasto could you a night o my mas. Don't just come out and say it so easily. Yokte is shoe can the show. So you talk a marimas. So the maddeni hitojica kaiho sarena kereba. Sayak no jitanga matimas. Usami spoke softly. Come to think of it. The reason you're so adamant in believing he won't return the hostage because he sent that photograph? Usami nodded. But if his only objective was to prove this, he could have just let Hiroki speak on the phone. Hi. Then one of whom are Sashio no Kosi o r i w a Which means there's a distinct possibility that、uh, Mao wants to give us a chance to find, to find Hiroki? Is that where you're going with this? Hiroki is in a state where he can no longer even use a phone. I'm going to say so. 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 Well, I guess my interpretation could be totally off base then. Right. Where the photo was taken isn't necessarily where Hiroki is being kept. But. 
There are over 50 places in Tomenbetsu city alone. Hi. I frowned as Usami straightened up. Was it the sun display of confidence? I Likelihood. Setting mountains aside, aren't pretty much all abandoned sites places with no people around? いいえ、アザイさん。誘拐事件の人質を隠すような場所です。可能性の話で言えば、真相談やホームレスの方も近づかないようなレアな廃墟なんじゃないでしょうか。True. Yeah. I guess you're right. If a kidnapper, if I was a kidnapper, I would choose one of those places too. I'm not too familiar with the subject myself, but I hear it's pretty common for gangs to use those abandoned ruins as meeting spots, and the homeless to use them as homes. Hmm. Oh, that's... you're... yeah, okay. I never knew that you were so optimistic. Very well. Well, I mean, hey, now that I think about it, I mean, we did run into a penguin on the side of the road the other day, so... Does this mean that, uh, realistically speaking, our chances of finding him are actually quite good? Okay, I know that does that's not how that's not how uh, luck and chance works, but I don't know. I'm just trying to find a reason to be optimistic. I just didn't feel like arguing anymore. A list of information about nearby nearby con condemned sites. God. Oh. You're talking about that thing with Aichi and me. Information on condemned sites, huh? How would I gather that? Some research on the internet and in books would be the best way to start off. I guess I could also go ask some former gang members from the Azai Corporation's network. Anyway, I'm going home. Eh? Subaki showed up just as I was revealing my disgust. Yeah, I was just having a little talk with Asami. Subaki took a glimpse at Asami, looking rather stiff. Party at my house! No, wait. I don't want to let any classmates into my room. Let alone Usami. Promise? Uh, the promise to search for Hiroki. You're really annoying, you know that? I, I scratched my head. As I sat there vexed, someone called out from the hallway. It was Miss Noriko. She seems to be in a panic. What's wrong, Teach? Hi. Zbaki called back and headed for the door. Miss Noriko's face was deathly white as she spoke to Zbaki. What's going on? Zbaki returned after a while. Zbaki had frightened to look about her. It's related to the ki it's related to the kidnapping, isn't it? What happened? Well, indirectly, I would say this is related to the kidnapping. So technically, I'm not wrong. 
Now that I think about it, she hasn't been well lately. She's been in bed ever since the kidnapping. Which hospital? I try to remain calm. Judging by the name of the hospital, Sabaki told me, it was a general hospital in the Eastern District. Alright. Take a taxi there. It'll get you there in no time. Taxi? I'll call for one now and lend you the money. It shouldn't be more than 5,000 yen. Don't worry about it. It's an emergency, right? I took a 5,000 yen bill from my wallet and handed it to Sabaki. I picked up my cell to call the cab company, too. That's eh, all right. I'll deal with uh, I'll deal with uh, with uh, Gonzo snipping into my uh, spendings later. The call was already over by the time Sabaki had a chance to resist again. He said he'll be here in five minutes. Go wait in front of the school. I've already told him the destination. What's the matter? You look like you want to cry. Sabaki held the 5,000 yen bill tightly in her hands and dashed out of the classroom. Watching her back turn the corner, Usami whispered, It's because I'm rich. No, really, it's normal, isn't it? Is she misunderstanding me? My business with Sano Corporation is only possible because of Tsubaki. I have to repay this favor. Of course. But can you come to my house tomorrow instead? I get the feeling I'm being led around by the nose here. Very well. But you have to leave as soon as you have what you want. I still have plans for the night. The bell signals the end of lunch break. Oh well. This could be a chance to investigate a connection between Usami and Mao. Yeah, It's taller than it's taller and swankier than I'll ever hope to be. Usami was impressed looking up at the building. No, I'm just a bitch. Not me, my dad. He's the rich one, and he's an even bigger bitch than me. I inserted the key into the auto-locking door and opened it. Loneliness is all I deserve, because I'm a bitch. What's wrong with that? I'd give it to you if I could. You're quite annoying. No, you. We entered the elevator after moving through the lobby. First things first, don't touch anything here. You should be able to figure that out, can't you? Something like 1600. Don't go nosing around. Sit your butt down over there and don't move. But, Kyosuke, you like to make note of how filthy she is. Are you sure you want her filthy buttocks touching any of your furniture? Who knows when was the last time she washed it, after all. You sure you want to? You invited yourself here, you know. Usami looked around the house excitedly. Would coffee do? Usami pointed at the safe that holds 50 million yen. 
You know, I just realized. 50 million. Exactly the amount that Tsubaki's family just lost. Maybe I could defy Daddy and give that personal savings to Sabaki's family later on. Eh, just a little. Azai-san is not But it's not like you have a job. Oh, excuse me. I got I got a small allowance working for my dad. I get a small allowance. Well, my life literally depends on it. Why do you say that? I continue to question. Doesn't it seem strange that someone living in a huge expensive apartment like this would be saving up money? She turned her attention to the furniture as she spoke. You know your furniture pretty well. Well, given your, given your uh, financial status, I guess that makes sense. That you'd be so intimate with cheap furniture. It's true, and it's not only the furniture. The dinnerware and the appliances are all cheap stuff, too. It's all stuff I bought cheap from Soul Alliance's pawn shop. How many poor innocent souls ended up losing all this furniture that you yourself are now are now using? I would ask if that thought bothers you, but I don't think I'd get anywhere with it. A lot of them were gifts too. Azai-san has clothes that are so fancy, and the rooms are so luxurious. Yeah, the parking garage is underground. Well, it's just a company car. Daddy makes me frugal. Somehow I knew you would start to analyze my personality the second you stepped in that door. すみません。Still, most of what Usami said was correct. I lead a life that appears luxurious. Gonzo's orders, after all. I would personally rather save money. I still have to return the 200 million yen debt my father owes. Nevertheless, appearances are crucial. The right house... The right car, the right clothes. I might only be his adopted son, but as a child of the fourth leader of the Son Sonoyama group, I can't let others look down on me. I know better than to do that. Gonzo has shown me firsthand the power one can obtain by flaunting one's wealth. Wristwatches, cars, a few extra square feet. In the underground, these things are closely tied to your overall worth as a person. Uh, I think I probably eat better than you, at least. So I know, and that's sad. I buy CDs and take Tsubaki out for coffee, too. I do lost stuff that wastes money. Usami lowered her head slightly. いや、私てっきり、アザイさんは何か事情があってお金を稼ぎまくっている高青年かと思いましたよ。Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> you mean one of those guys that lives in a tiny little room, uses a public bath and toilet, and leads a frugal lifestyle all for the sake of being able to pay back some of his sick mother's debt? A ridiculous thought. Well, it's th those are the exact. Those are almost the same ridiculous uh, circumstances you're living through. Forget about one or two hundred thousand. How could someone saving up such piddly amounts by living like that to possibly repay a hundred million yen debt? If you don't use money, you won't earn money. I've been repeating this to myself. I must repay all my debts. Still, I refuse to live a poor life. Otherwise, people who think they know the first thing about me 
will look upon me with pity. I never want to experience that kind of humiliation ever again. Well, how about that? Something I think you and Mao have in common. Yeah, I'll get to researching in my study. You wait here. I'll be in charge of searching on the internet for information on rundown locals and pointing it out. Printing it out, excuse me. You read it, and I'll look for further information while you're reading. I just wanted Usami to stay out of my study. There are a lot of things on my computer that simply cannot be seen. I left Usami there and entered the study myself. We met in the living room after an hour had passed. The sun was already setting before we knew it. Seems like there are a lot of rundown spots. Not only were there a lot of condemned homes that nobody lived in, but there were a lot of ruined parks and hotels. There were even some old military facilities. Usami surfed for the information I had printed out. Probably just a marketing thing. I bet that's why it's closed. And look at this rental house. It might be condemned, but it's in the center of town. We'd be hard pressed to believe that the kidnapper was hiding the hostage in an old building that people pass by all the time. Well, you know the saying, hiding in plain sight. I'm not sure that exactly applies here, but something like it. Anyway, you got a request. What now? Well, it's not like anybody's using them, so personally I don't see a problem with looking. Uh, right. I nearly forgot. Someone owns it even if it's condemned. It's against the law to enter without permission. Hmm. Never even thought about that before, to tell you the truth. Um. Well, we won't know until we ask. How can we ask these people in a way that will guarantee their consent? A five-year-old might be trapped in there. That'd just be pe that'd be just peachy, but there's no way we can say that. All right, just wait a moment. I need to ask an acquaintance of mine in real estate about something. I took the list Usami had arranged back into my study. The inner workings of the real estate business are quite something. When I said I was with the Azai Corporation and asked the real estate agent about the buildings, he called his co-worker and identified the owners almost immediately. Well, I dealt with five locations to start with. No worries. They all agreed to let us in. Yeah. The truth was, I didn't get permission at all. All five of them belonged to a local financial institution. Gain permission was out of the question. Yeah, they said it's not a problem, seeing as how I'm my father's son. We're in search of a five-year-old five for the greater good here. I do feel a little bad about it, but what Asami doesn't know won't hurt her. What? We're starting now? Wait, let's pack some things first. 
As I got deeper into the research, I started to see how unsafe these condemned sites are. Well, I mean, hey, we are going, we are possibly going to a kidnapper's location. We, I'm, if anything, I'd say we should be bringing at least a bunch of knives with us. Guns are probably out of the question. Guns are prop would probably be out of the question here if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, I'm part of the Azai Corporation, Yakuza and all that shit, so I'm sure I'd have access to guns at the very least. You though, well I doubt you could I doubt you could afford to even spend a spend money on a box of ammunition. And flashlights. It's pretty dark in these places, even at noon. You worked construction? She really does all kinds of jobs. You're... Please tell me you're at least going to be bringing, uh, bringing a, a, a set of pocket knives to defend yourselves with. Uh, sorry. There's something I need to do today. Isn't she afraid? Going alone? The photos have ruined the buildings. Every one of them looked frightening. There might be no ghosts, but there could be vagrants or packs of wild dogs. Then maybe you should be a gentleman and go with her. I'll find some time and do some more thorough research on the condemned sites in the city. I'll ask my dad about it too. Usami waved and head for the door. You know, this whole time I couldn't help I can't help but notice how very approachable she's been towards um Kyosuke. The whole time that she's been here. I can't help but feel off about it. Like there's like there's a lot more to her uh, wanting to come here than she's letting than let than she's letting on. Ah, wait a moment. Usami turned and moved her head to the side in uncertainty. I have a question. Eh. You insist the kidnapper is Mao, right? それが何か? What do you think Mao's motive is for kidnapping Sabaki's brother? You know that the goal of the kidnapper was wasn't money, right? Usami nodded again and said, Hypothesis? Huh? I frowned. Aren't you being a little too self-centered? That sounds bonkers. I joked. What? Are you trying to say that you and Mao are arch nemeses? A cockroach would be stronger. Neither cockroaches or plankton are cute. What the hell is her problem? Well then, why would a vicious kidnapper like Mao want to go after plankton like you? She swallowed her words as they were about to come out. Come on, it's okay to tell me, isn't it? I clicked my tongue. You're just full of secrets, aren't you? You would know. Usami still looked rather calm. Somehow this felt ridiculous. Gonzo ordered me to search for Mao, but the key... Usami won't tell me anything. Angry? I'm just telling it like it is, you know. Wait, what? Log, log, um, 
Where's... Okay, where's the... I'm trying to remember. Where's the freaking log button? Here it is. How does... How do you get angry from this? Oh, wait. Maybe he's just addressing her tone or something? What are you talking about? あざいさん。こんなことを言うと喧嘩になってしまいそうで怖いんですがね。あざいさんの人柄はどうにもつかめません。I could feel my anger building up. Well, she's not wrong, is she? As I said, I'm busy. I have my reasons. I can't do anything about it, okay? Yes. That's why I have a situation. I don't want to talk to my wife. Well, I guess it's what we deserve. She smuggles through it with those pretty words. Perhaps you still suspected that I'm Mao. I meant to say it out of spite. <laughs> Usami silently shook her head. Sure, she looks so sad. She left the room timidly, hunched over. Maybe I shouldn't get involved any deeper with Usami. I reclined on the sofa, alone. Could Mao be targeting Usami? Whatever the case, it's got nothing to do with me. There's that phrase again. It seems like it'll be hard to get any information about Mao out of her. But Gonzo's really going to come down on me if I don't make some progress toward finding Mao. Well, I would suggest that you stop being so tight-lipped about everything and start spilling out a few secrets of your own and give her incentive to spill out some back, back at you. But you're not going to do that, are you? And so, we're going to be stuck here with this little dilemma. All because you're too goddamn stubborn here to actually spill, to actually spill your guts when necessary. It looks like Mao doesn't plan to let Sabaki's brother go, either. If he doesn't, the shit's going to hit the fan real fast. Even the most mild-mannered family would call the police. Once the police get involved, the fact that I took part in the loans would be exposed, and the Sawa Alliance would probably be investigated thoroughly. God only knows what Gonzo would do to me if that happened. I came to a conclusion. I need to continue to watch Tsubaki's family. It's difficult for me to get involved in their family decisions as an outsider, but I have to try. A headache sprang out of nowhere as I continued to think. It's been happening quite frequent frequently recently. The devil wants to come out and play, perhaps? I need to finish work as soon as possible. Uh, Hello. I paid a visit to Sabaki's house after finishing work. Sorry for coming over so late. I was in the neighborhood, so I came to check up on you guys. Sabaki's eyes widened as she looked at me in surprise. Are you going somewhere? Sabaki mumbled as she gripped her coat's hem. Got back from where? Another meeting with the devil? Funny how I also happen to be in the area right, right as that happens. So is your mother doing okay? 
で入院するんだけどね。Was it stress? みたいだね。お母さんも参っちゃったみたいで。How about you, Sabaki? Are you feeling okay? It might be the dim light, but Sabaki's face looked in desperate need of rest. 私は全然平気だよ。Come on, don't lie. You're amazing, Sabaki. And you are amazingly dense. I really felt that from the bottom of my heart. Her brother had been kidnapped, the ransom had been taken, and the hostage had still yet to return. The fact that she could still smile was really something. The problem is, I think the smile is only skin deep. You're a strong person. Sabaki shook her head, insisting that it wasn't true. Sure. The house was lifeless. All the kids had probably gone to sleep. There was only her dad in the living room, laying his head on the table in misery. Poor bastard. Ah, Azai kun janai ka. Irashai. He let loose a greeting with worn eyes. Azai kun, watashi chotto ototo tachi o nekashi tsukete kuru ne. Sorry for the late hour, sir. In stark contrast to Sabaki's, his eyes looked weak. I'm sorry that you basically have the universe basically gunned for you at this point. His face was gaunt. You look really tired. Although、well, that would be quite natural under these circumstances. Maybe Tsubaki was the abnormal one. Azai kun? Tsubaki wa? She just went to the room there, didn't she? Oh, oh, so ka. So d a He's probably been depressed the whole time. An awkward silence filled the air. Tsubaki's father spoke softly. Azai kun. Tsubaki o yoroshiku tanomu ne. Huh? Are wa. とても優しい娘なんだ。Yeah, I know. 今もね、無理に明るく振る舞ってるんだ。内心では辛いくせにね。Yeah, I can imagine. Sabaki's dad sighed. ちょっといい子に育ちすぎてしまったかな。スバキは人を疑うということを知らないんだ。You must seem to be talking to himself. 僕も母さんも世間知らずの田舎者だから、騙すより騙されるような人間になれと教えてきてしまったんだよ。Hmm. No, スバキ is just a truly kind person. Unbelievably kind. By the way, did the kidnapper ever call you back? I changed the topic as Sabaki returned from the other room. Azai kun, what did you say about the kidnapper? The kidnapper. The kidnapper. I see. Has Hiroki already been killed? It's okay. Hiroki will come back to you. Her bright voice didn't qu quite fit into the atmosphere. It was as if she was somehow sure of it. So, so, case at all, Tayoro Kato Munda. Eh? Tosanga Machigate Tanda. Say Shokara case at all, Tayote Okiba. Kona Koto Niva Nakata. It doesn't come as a shock that his train of thought would eventually reach that conclusion. Otosa. Sabaki stopped her father from picking up the phone. Ma, ma, just a little. Wait, me, oh, yeah. Sabaki, smart, I got that. But, no, no, wait, no. Crap. Wait, oh, Hani, wa, 
身の代金さえ受け取れば、ひろあきを返すって言ってたんだよ。He hasn't though。それは口実だよ。現に、犯人から何の連絡もないじゃないか。でも、今さら。すまん。父さんは、もうじっとしていられないんだ。He stood up in a rush. Looks like he's finally at the end of his rope. Please don't become too impulsive. Please,、uh, Sabaki's father turned red and glared at me. I've kept silent about this up until now.、But、the truth is, I asked my father to help search for the kidnapper the day after the ransom was taken. Sabaki held her breath. Do you go to? We're currently searching for Hiroki through a police acquaintance of my father's. All lies. The possibility of the kidnapper hiding in a remote condemned site is very high. Investigation is currently in progress. Lies, but I decided to mix up some facts for good measure. Smuddy, Kesa no hoa, mo ugoi ti ru to yu koto kai. Yeah. But not in an official investigation. So, it's a whole nanda, Rone. Niwa ka niwa, shinji gata yo. Well, you're right to be skeptical, honestly. It's true. Some old colleagues of my dad and a few private detectives are working on it as we speak. Spocky's dad fell silent. Right now, Patiently waiting for an outcome would be a better solution than irritating the kidnapper by calling the police. I'll bring Hiroki back, I swear. I said this firmly. Tsubaki spoke to her father as well, but his grim face didn't seem to relax at all. <clears throat> Seems like his judgment's lagging under extreme fatigue. Finally, Sabaki's dad silently dropped his head. Apparently, he believed my bullshit. Maybe he didn't have the strength remaining to call the police in the first place. <sighs> But a lie is a still a lie. It will only help buy some time. If Hiroki is still alive, we have to find him as soon as possible. Can't really blame him. I can't blame him. I took a look at my watch, and it was already after 12. It's time for me to head home. No! I didn't have anything in mind when I stopped by. I hinted to Tsubaki. Call me if you're pl planning to call the police, okay? Tsubaki's complete trust in me brought a swift reply. Yeah, he's a little on edge right now. No problem. I avoided her eyes and put on my coat. Well, good night. She smiled. You can do it, Tsubaki. Tsubaki smiled and seemed quite satisfied as I turned to leave. Sure enough, the voice from behind me spoke again. Hmm? <laughs> You're the last girl I would expect to hear that from. I tease her at the, tease her at the same cheerful voice I always use at school. But Tsubaki didn't understand that it was a joke. Uh, as her father had said, Tsubaki pretends to be cheerful, but is actually quite uneasy on the inside. Finally, I've been waiting to see the human side of you. Ah, do you mean? Oh, 
Nothing. It'd be too much to expect anyone to remain completely normal in the face of this situation. I'll pass on spending the night. We have school tomorrow. I pat Sabaki's shoulder lightly. She looked at me like a pitiful little puppy. Her round eyes seemed to glow in the night sky. Call me if something happens. She looked at me, her eyes filled with loneliness. Is that so? It's very convenient, you know. Let's go buy one together when this all ends. Hmm? Yeah, right. I thought Tsubaki looked a touch anxious for a second, but it's probably not a big deal. Again, how fucking dense are you? It's obvious that she has a thing for you. Well, see ya. I left Sabaki's house. I looked back when I made a turn, and Sabaki waved at me. To tell the truth, I found it pretty adorable that she watched me walk away. The absences stood out. Was there a cold going around? Who knows? Maybe she's late? Maybe. You don't know the whole story. Morning. Usami slowly appeared. So you ran around re yesterday for nothing. Usami didn't answer my question, but only lowered her head a bit. Sure. I wanted to inquire about Usami and Maou's relationship yesterday, but she managed to dodge the subject. Well, we're two people that have secrets we're keeping from each other, so does that count? Eiji was probably annoyed. He left us and started chatting with a group of girls. Don't worry about it. Usami's eyes and mine met. So how did it go? Yeah. Monsters? What were you doing? Either you're either you're on drugs of some kind, or everything you're telling me is 100% factual. I don't know. I don't know which scenario is more likely right now. But if it's the latter, I want to see the sports tournament. You look worn out. Taking a second look, I noticed there was a bruise on Usami's leg. Poor thing. Usami remained optimistic about the whole thing. Sorry, but I'll be unable to accompany you for the next two days. 
With regards to the property issue, a final negotiation has yet to be made with the Sano Corporation. Where did this courage come from? Why so confident? Meaning you can't grasp it at all. How about looking over the photo of the culprits sent back one more time? The bell rang as we spoke, and class started. Usami inspected the photo thoroughly during the entire lesson. Lunchtime. The cold air on the rooftop was more chilling than ever. Tsubaki arrived around this time. Oh, oh, what happened today? Take care of her mother, I guess. Kanan's sleeping. Eichi? I don't know. Classroom, maybe? She's been staring at that photo all day. She looked happy. Anything come up lately? That unnatural feeling from a few days back arose in my mind once more. Right, but... I wasn't referring to the kidnapping. Hmm. I couldn't really tell you. A shout expression crept to her face. She is unstable. In any case, it wouldn't be wise to conjecture Tsubaki's feelings based on her bright attitude. Would you like to go shopping today? If you keep if you keep it around thirty minutes. There's still time before the negotiation. I'll just hang out with her for a while. You're not in the mood? She forced a smile, then let out a sigh of exhaustion. She tensed up as if she were preparing to say something, but then... Found something? Usami jogged over to me. What? How rude. Haru-chan, Oh. Her greeting felt like an afterthought, as if she had almost forgotten in her fr frenzy. Yeah? Yeah? It's fine. Irrelevant. Mm. I squinted at the photo. Just as I just as Usami had said, there was something that looked like a document under the shelf. Huh? You mean on the paper? I put the picture so close to my eyes that the surface was practically kissing my nose. I can't make it out. It's either terrible handwriting or it's smudged. It doesn't look like something that was written for other people to read. Maybe it's a sheet from a diary or something? The three of us squeezed together. There's no way she would want to see a picture of her imprisoned brother. What do you think, Sami? Content? Roman letters. Why would there be a document uh, containing Roman letters in a location such as that? Roman letters. She was right. 
It really did look like something written in English. I'm sorry, since when is Roman and English one and the same? It does look that way. Good eye there. Is that R P? RP hmm. It's written right there at the beginning. A capital R and a lowercase P. Dying message. And who do you think would have died there, genius? Well, that's just great. She's right. It doesn't seem it really seem to be that big of a deal. All we know is that the ruined building where Hiroki is imprisoned holds English books. We could hardly call it a big step. Not necessarily. We could just, we could just uh, look we could just look up a, a list of buildings here that had businesses where English was a language that they worked that they worked with for one reason or another could be you know something like English uh, English uh, school or something like that you know anything like that that could justify having English <laughs> Usami answered with confusion <laughs> Usami frowned Zabaki's lips were quivering. Usami looked confused after hearing this, and Zabaki joined her in an awkward silence. Seems like it to me. Sabaki lowered her head slightly. だって、ハルちゃんはどうして犯人を捕まえようとしているの?犯人を捕まえなければ、今後第二第三の誘拐事件が起こるかもしれないぞ。そういう正義感みたいなもので。大口叩いておいて、私は身代金を奪われてしまった。責任も感じている。責任って、そんな、もういいよ。どうしたんだ、椿。私はただ、犯人の手から広明君を取り戻したいんだわ。Sabaki's face changed dramatically at this point. She let loose her suppressed emotion that had been accumulating over time. Haru-chan-wa... At some point, her nervous, wandering eyes had begun to stare straight into Usami. I didn't expect this from Spocky. Not only did seeing her blame another surprise me, but to find that she had genuine interest in the criminal's motives. Tsubaki cried out hysterically. <laughs> the warm atmosphere of the crowded school in the middle of the day froze in an instant. Tsubaki's <laughs> shoulders trembled, and she unsteadily covered her mouth. Tsubaki's <laughs> family was suffering from this hardship because of Usami. It somehow brought to my mind the image of a detective in a novel who found murder cases wherever he went. 
It's not that I don't understand Tsubaki's feelings, but the person she's taking her rage out on should be the kidnapper, not Usami. Usami said this in a surprisingly calm tone. Tsubaki averted her eyes under the pressure. Tsubaki spoke with her head down and her eyes up, as if to judge Usami's reaction. With a face which clearly stated there was nothing more to say, Usami walked away. Hey. I called out to the trembling Tsubaki. Have you eaten lunch yet? Let's go eat together if you haven't. Tsubaki remained silent long after my invitation had dissolved into the wind. Things are pretty much going exactly as I predicted they would, unfortunately for us all. Well, I guess it's really not too hard to guess where things would end up going, honestly. During the lessons, I kept an eye on Tsubaki from the seat behind her. Her mind seemed to have been wandering off as she answered the teacher's questions haphazardly. Eiichi whispered me during English class. The coming winter seat brought flu season with it, it seems. You sound like a poet today, Eiichi. Sounds great. Still, to do that, you'll have to study English. Good luck. Do you really have to destroy them? I don't know, it's never been that hard. At least for me. It would hurt a lot of people if you destroyed their languages. <laughs> Usami, from the seat in front of us, creaked her head out, creaked, uh, creaked her head in our direction. Huh? What, the true al find the true alphabet? He said he destroyed languages like English, Italian, and German. She nodded silently. You're talking about that letter in the f that letter that in th that uh, note in the picture, aren't you? Now that I think about it, those languages all use a very similar alphabet to each other, at least in terms of general appearance. So, unless you know, unless you are v unless you are intimately familiar with the languages, it, I guess it could be easy to uh, confuse Italian words from German words, for example. Confuse them both, I mean. Huh? What is that? Just when I was about to ask, the teacher glared at me. We might have been a bit too noisy for class time. Usami averted her eyes and became silent. The lesson proceeded without a second thought. 
Usami hastily left the classroom after school. Wait up, Usami. <laughs> Did you think of something just now? <laughs> she said this as if she had as if the thought had surfaced just now. Investigate what? Oh? あれは英語ではなく、多分ラテン語か何かなんです。詳しくは知りませんが。Latin you say. あの、RP なんですがね。That's Latin. えいちさんがドイツ語とか言ったので、一瞬ドイツ語かなとか思った時にピンときました。今日は風で欠席が多いみたいですしね。I suddenly got it too. Are they medical records? Search abandoned hospitals and doctor's offices. おそらくその類です。病院でお医者様がよくRPと書いているのを目にしてたので、それを思い出しました。What does it mean? 確か処方するとかそういう意味らしいです。So a pharmacy? I see. But wait. Hey, Sami. When we looked at that picture, didn't we decide that all the other characters in the document were Roman too? はい。カルテなんじゃないかなと疑って読むと、他にドイツ語で血液という単語を拾えなくもなかったです。This girl knows German, eh? Though, though it might be German, I heard there are re there are relatively few doctors who actually use German to take records. Apparently, they usually use Japanese or English. はい。カルテにしては。日本語が少しも混じっていないのがおかしいとも思いました。She adjusted her hair. ただですね。お年を召した開業医の方の中には稀にいらっしゃるんだそうです。Alright. Then an old abandoned hospital would make sense. 調べやすいと思いませんか? Kuroki Kun is imprisoned in an abandoned hospital? We can narrow it down a lot, huh? はい。病院と分かっただけでもかなりの収穫です。We should investigate quickly. I doubt there will be that many abandoned hospitals, so we might find it right away. 昨日みたいに立ち入りの許可もお願いしていいですかね? Wait a second. I stopped Usami before she could dart off. What Tsubaki said to you just now, doesn't it bother you? <laughs> もう関わらないでほしいと言われましたね。Yeah. Looks like Sabaki's feelings got a little out of control. 気にはしていません。せめて椿たちが警察を頼るまでの間は自分なりに調べてみようと思っています。それでは。She ran briskly, briskly down the hallway. I should probably get home. Maybe I caught the flu. My head is aching a bit. Even so, that was an impressive find. Not bad, Usami. Feeling a bit dizzy, I place my palm tightly against my forehead. I received a phone call from Mr. Somea. While walking unsteadily through the crowd. Asai-kun, kimi no okage de tasukatta yo. It was nothing. Lei no higashiku no ken da ga ne. Miwa toyu ikka ga tsui ni yorete kureta rashiku. Keikaku wa mata kidou ni nori hajimeta sou da. That's good to hear. Kimi ga donna teguchi o tsukatta no ka wa waza waza to umai. Na. So Maya was quite pleased. No, I should be the one thanking you. I really appreciate you lending that place to me. Just as you stated, even the gangs and the homeless won't wouldn't go near there. It's really a wonderful place. I see. Is that all for today? What is it? 
担当の人間から偶然耳にしたんだが。Who? さあ、警察の人間ではなさそうだったらしいがね。Did they leave a name? こっちが三能物産だと知って尻込みしたらしいな。だから当然。Thanks for the heads up. I'll contact you again soon. I hung up and sank into thought. Was it who saw me? If it was her, her investigation is proceeding faster than predicted. The pictures might have been too much of a hint, so they were a hint after all. If all I wanted to do was inform the family of Hiroki's safety, I could have just put the phone up to him. There was no need to go out of my way to send a photo where the hostage was kept. There was no doubt that Usami would try to find Hiroki's whereabouts through the photo. However, my true aim lies elsewhere. They won't find the hostage even if they search the hospital. This marks Usami's second major mistake. The first being the fiasco of the ransom. And this will eventually fuel the flames of strife between Usami and Tsubaki. That's why I sent her the photo. Helping the Sano Corporation of this troublesome land acquisition trifle might be the main goal of this kidnapping, but that's not the full extent of my motives. Usami Haru. That woman is one of the few people privileged to knowledge, of, to knowledge of my past. She's also the only one searching for me right now. I want to finish her, but I'll have to let her go this time. The hints the photo left are more troublesome than expected. I was nearly caught by Osami while running through the downtown area, too. Of course, no evidence that could clearly indicate my location was left behind. Still, you can never be too careful. If their search for Hiroki had taken just a bit longer, I could have taken a friend away from Usami. Of course, making use of Tsubaki. Nevertheless, the seed had already been planted within her. Now I only have to wait. For it to bloom. Lastly, I'll contact Sabaki. I'll give back her brother. However, I must make my point clearly. If she dares contact the police, her family will suffer once more. Because after all, Sabaki still has two younger sisters and another brother. I returned home immediately after the negotiation and took a short nap. I feel like I have a fever. Maybe I really did catch the flu. Ring, ring. Hmm? Someone's here. When I picked up the receiver, Usami's face appeared on the monitor. <laughs> What do you want? The abandoned hospital. Eh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I looked it up. Would you come inside for a bit? Usami softly replied in the affirmative. But you know, it isn't necessary for you to come in person. Just give me a phone call next time. Oh? Really? Sorry, I was probably asleep. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's it. You were just. You were just the angel was just asleep. Is that so? Oh. I spread out the printout. I spread out the printouts detailing the requested information on the coffee table. It was all sent from real estate agencies. Well, it seems to be Ijiri Hospital. I heard it was abandoned in the eastern outskirts. 
The hospital's founder, Dr. Ijiri, was some guy born in the Meiji era. He died long ago. I told her about the address in detail. There are no other abandoned hospitals in the city that match our criteria. I'll go too. I'm not going because I'm worried about you. The owner of this hospital is a subsidiary of the Sano Corner Corporation. If anything goes wrong, it could cause a scandal for Sanel. I've got to keep an eye on Usami to make sure she doesn't get into any trouble. Um, damn, I don't even have military gloves. I left my home disgusted. The residential area gets especially cold at night. I received a phone call from Sabaki on the way to Usami's apartment. What is it? Just as I finished asking, Sabaki un Sabaki's unbelievably joyful voice came from the other end of the line. <laughs> What is it? Did something happen? She spoke so hurriedly that I almost envisioned saliva pouring out of her mouth. He's back? Hiroki's back? It might have just been my mind playing tricks on me, but it felt like even my voice was shivering. It sounded like she was crying. She repeated the same mumbled yes repeatedly. That's... that's fantastic! My whole body relaxed after hearing this. No, no, I didn't do anything. I only let you help me make a fortune. Alright. Hiroki must be in shock, too. Cheer him up for me. I'll come visit him sometime. She left me with a farewell enriched with endless joy. It was like she can finally have a good night's sleep. I let out a long sigh, too. I don't have to worry about the police showing up anymore. Usami, it's just as you've heard. A smile appeared on the tip of her lips. However, her eyes only bore a strange glow. これで警察を頼ることができますね。ん?キルワキ君が帰ってきたのなら、ことを大っぴらにできます。私も警察にいろいろと証言するつもりです。the only reason we didn't contact the police was because the hostage was still in the culprit's hands. Now that the hostage is back, there's no need to hesitate. Right. We don't have school tomorrow. I nervously watched Usami leave. I must do something. Unlike Sabaki, these circumstances give, didn't give me the courtesy of rest. Hmm. Tell you the truth, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think that we'd end up getting Hiroki back here quite this soon. I mean, good on I mean, good on Sabaki and her family, all things considered, but you still have the problem with the fact that Mao still seems uh, intent on using Sabaki as a means to sow division between Usami and well, Sabaki, and just hurt and just basically as a means of hurting uh, of hurting Usami. So, the way I see it, even though even though the kidnapping is well is is done and over with now, 
We still have we still have to contend with this asshole in some way, shape, or form. This isn't over. You know what? I think this is a good spot to leave things. So I'm going to go ahead and cut things off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of The Devil on G-String. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time. Take care.